Hello Accounting 20 students. I've heard from several of you and uh, some of you are having a little difficulty with the inventory concept of first in first out and last in first out. So I'm going to try and see if by giving you a visual explanation as well as an audio explanation and hopefully you will be able to understand it more clearly. First in, first out stands for the first inventory brought in is the first inventory that is going to go out of our store. So in our example, it shows us that on January 1st, we had a beginning inventory of 20 units. In March, we purchased 30 additional units. In May, we purchased another 30 units. July 7th, we purchased 50 units. And on November 18th, we purchased 50 units. With periodic inventory, it means that we are going to do a physical count at the end of the year. So at the end of December, we did a count of all of the units in our store and discovered that we had 80 units left over. So using the first in, first out method, we want to determine what our ending inventory balance is. So how much does that inventory cost us that we have sitting in our store? So if you look now at the picture that I have drawn, in January I show the 20 units and the amount below is the dollar value. So I've made X's for each unit that we have in our store. First in, first out means we sell these ones in January, then we sell the March ones, the May ones, the July, and then the November. So we have, if we have 80 left in our store, we're going to have 50 of the ones that we purchased in November that we still have not sold, but that's only 50. We need 80, so we have to take 30 additional units from July to make up our 80. So we have 50 units at $24 is the 1,200. 30 units at $22 $660, so our total inventory value for this unit is $1,860. So likewise, another example, which I'm not going to be able to draw on here for you, is that if we have the same inventory and we had only 30 units left at the end of December, we would take 30 of our November units, that's what we have left in our store, and we assume that we've sold everything else in our store. So we would have 30 times 24, which would be $720 in units. Okay, I hope that helps with first in, first out. I'm going to go over last in, first out with you now. Okay, last in, first out means the last inventory we brought in, which would be the November purchases, is the first inventory that we're going to sell. So we have all of our inventory shown from January to November. We have 80 units left over, so we're going to sell all of our November, all of our July. So the ones that we have left remaining in our store we have to start with our January. We have 20 of those remaining at $20. We have our March 30 units at $20. And we have May purchases 30 units at $21. So our total. Sorry for that. Our total inventory remaining then is going to be $1,630. So another example would be if we only have 15 units left over, we would have 15 units of the January um, purchases remaining. So 15 units at $20, our inventory value remaining would be $300. I hope that this has helped you 
understand periodic inventory, last in, first out, and first in, first out more clearly. Please continue to ask questions if you're unsure.